Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Eden Relay created by Adrian Van Sorgen. So stay tuned and let's check it out. Alrighty, this was sent in by one of our Discord advanced builders and golden patrons. Thank you so much for your support, Adrian. And he says here, Hello, Johnny. I've taken your notes on my first coaster submission to heart and have created another triple synchronized coaster with a single boarding station. This time the trains start off in parallel but quickly go their own way. They do get back together, but I'll let you find out how. I've chosen a futuristic and utopian theme because I don't think that's been done much before. It's a fun challenge each time to provide provide sufficient theming while staying within the 4k limit. As always, I hope you enjoy this and keep up the great work. Adrian, holy moly. All right, guys, I'm going to show a little clip of the um, setup here because to note to Adrian, a little disappointing. Um, this ride is unable to set up. You can see me fiddling around with the entrance. I can't place one. It's obstructed by something. I tried doing the float trick where it would connect back in. I tried moving the actual entrance of the station. I can't seem to figure out why this I cannot connect a queue to this. So we're gonna actually have to ride without guests today, which is kind of unfortunate. Definitely something for you to go look into Adrian. With all that aside, guys, let's take a look at this closer. Holy moly, you definitely nailed that utopian theme. And you're right, it hasn't been done all too much. And I think you've done it exceptionally well. I've seen people do the utopian theme. I actually did an entire workshop Wednesday, Adrian, something you might be interested in checking out. If you go to the blueprint spotlights on my channel, at the very bottom um, of, the, of the, the page, one of the columns is blueprint spotlights. If you rewind back far enough, you will actually get to the workshop Wednesdays, which was kind of like the old school style of blueprint spotlights. And one of the uh, episodes was all utopian. And I think you, um, you push the limits here. The the way you did the shapes on these buildings here, nice and ovally with the garden work done around the outsides. It's very captivating and the stacked layers of, uh, what do you call it, greenery. Um, you've connected them back together. It's very interesting. I mean, I'd love to see more of this. Adrian, you definitely impress me every time you submit something. And uh, I've, I've featured, this would be the second time I featured you this week because I'm so impressed by your builds and I get so excited every time you submit something. Definitely keep up the good work and you know, you, you nail these themes with the, I want to see more of this utopian stuff, but I just said that about your dwarven creation. I want to see more of your dwarven creations. And um, you know, you, you nail these themes so perfectly that it leaves a little bit to be desired in, in the sense that it's so good we want more of it, which is a great problem to have. <laughs> but um, in some cases, I don't want you to do more dwarven and utopian stuff because I want to see what you can come up with next. Either way, I can't get enough of your creations, and I'm sure the viewers feel the same. So keep it up, my friend. Anyways, enough talking about the aesthetics. This is great. Let's talk about this coaster, because his first ever creation was the triple synchronized coaster. We saw the Dwarven was the quadruple drop coasters, and now we have um, winged coasters that are quadruple, triple triple synchronized. I don't, I'm not sure what the feedback it was that I gave on the first one, but he says he took it to heart and did something unique. As we can see, they're all converging, doing something, and then they go off and do their own separate things. Um, I'm going to have to go back and watch that other episode and figure out what I exactly what it was that I said. But um, nonetheless, this is another innovative creation that pushes the boundaries of coaster design. We see a lot of just generic coaster designs that have... I mean, I wouldn't say generic, but, you know, hard banking drops the, the general stuff that you see from a normal coaster. Um, Adrian decides to take the mechanics of the coaster and do something incredible or unique with them. And it's, it's not too often that we get to see stuff like this. So hats off to you. Again, another triple synchronized coaster with only one station. However, that station does need to be fixed. So there's a look at the stats, everybody. We've got a 6.1 excitement, 4.65 fear, and a 1.73 excitement. And they're all lining up here. Uh, let's figure out which one is the first coaster that we have to get on. So it comes out right here. So it's the far left guy that we're going to be riding today. Here we go. So we're going to try 
few different perspectives, I suppose, but we'll start off with the seat view and uh, see how this goes. Interesting, we, we do the middle track last, and that converge in the middle is really cool. We're gonna have to see this in cinematic. ideas for some other perspectives that'll look really cool on this. I don't I don't think the seat view is the best. There's gonna be some better perspectives for us here.
have to say, almost having having that tranquil music and no guests actually made it quite peaceful, serene, and uh, quite enjoyable. Um, wowee, Adrian. Look at that. It's got to be my favorite part of the whole thing. Always pushing the boundaries of coaster design and just blowing... I'm... I'm, I'm speechless here. I almost want to say we need to make a new segment on the show called Let's Challenge Adrian. Because uh, <laughs> you... Oh, camera's going to blow up. Here we go. Yeah, let's pause this for a sec. Oh, this, this one shot here. Oh, look at that. I wish they almost connected into one big train. You definitely mastered the one track synchronized coaster technique. And I would love more people to take the challenge as well because it actually does work out a lot better in terms of setup and design. You get a lot better results. So as a side note, guys, maybe we should take a look at the coasters here. I want I want to know from you, from you guys. Let's drop a message message down in the comments below to Adrian what you think would be a really cool triple synchronized coaster design. Now looking at the coaster so far he has already done the X Dimension 4D coaster. He just did the winged the cloud runner. What else did he do? He did the bark hest. Yes, where's the bar cast? So he did the Typhoon. And I want to say he's done another one. Let me check the YouTube channel. And I believe the last one he did was a Torque Launched Coaster, which was his, his first one. So looking at your other options. Now, I think one of the cool ones could be using the Junior Coaster. Because if you were to line them up like this, the Junior Coaster actually has the longest train length in the game, I think. Maybe the Hyper Coaster Equalizer might come close. But if you use a Junior Wendigo or Junior Dragon, and you had them all close together you could have a train length that spanned 200 people or more um, that could be a really interesting thing to look at the dive coasters would be pretty cool as they could line up and dive together but the dives are I think you already kind of accomplished that using the typhoon dives are hard to make compact and still get that big drop um, the mine train runner could be pretty cool because if you did a Western theme and had the the trains crisscrossing have near misses with them and then they meet back up onto the same train go off into their own separate tunnels come back out together onto the same train or have some near misses where they switch tracks because the I think the mine train could be really cool in terms of like train crossing and um, even your station how it comes out into four different tracks like the loading bays of actual train stations it could look at, and work really cool so I think the mine train would be a, a really fun one to explore we've seen plenty of wooden quad quadruple synced coasters and then there's also the idea of mixing and matching you could do a flying stingray that also has a uh, inverted coaster kind of trailing behind it over the same track uh, we've seen fricker do one where it was inverted and then it had a stand-up coaster on top which made for a really cool design and of course um sprint 500 speed track could be pretty darn cool now i think what you can do with this one now is you could take a hydraulic launch coaster like a torque and swap out the train for a sprint 500 so now the sprint 500 can actually do inversions if you do a train swap so that that's also something to consider adrian is your your train swapping abilities swinging mine train that'd be cool mixed in with a mine train <laughs> So you got carts and you got trains interacting with each other. Either way, there's a ton of fun stuff. I want to know your guys' thoughts. You got to look at the coasters there. Drop a comment down below. Let Adrian know what you think would be really cool in terms of theming, coaster innovation, what kind of coasters you can mix, what kind of dual synchronized coasters you would like to see. And let uh, let Adrian know your thoughts and get him to accept the challenge. <laughs> Either way, the moment, Adrian, you have another coaster in my inbox, it'll definitely get featured as you are uh, pumping out these amazing creations with extraordinary designs and uh, definitely think you're one of the up and coming legend builders if you keep it up so amazing work yet again adrian and there you go everybody that's going to do it for this episode of coaster spotlight if you guys enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new to the channel subscribe for more daily planet coaster videos and if you would like to support the show to keep it going you could do so by becoming a patron all right everybody thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.